they're among the most resilient and beloved creatures to roam the seas. Look it! But something in the water is killing bottlenose dolphins along the east coast of the U.S. And at the moment, it's a mystery. We're seeing lesions in their respiratory systems. We're seeing animals that are having joint problems. We are not seeing animals that are feeding normally. A lot of them are thin. And dead by the time marine authorities find them. More than 200 dead bottlenose dolphins have washed ashore from New York to Virginia this summer. In Virginia, the count is around 80 just for this month alone, mostly along the Chesapeake Bay shoreline. The average number in Virginia in August, seven. Pollution or bacteria could be possible causes of this die-off. But at the National Aquarium in Baltimore, I asked top veterinarian Brent Whitaker about another possibility. We don't know exactly what's causing it, but we suspect it might be a virus called Morbilli virus. Dolphin Morbilli virus, a pathogen that's been deadly before. It killed more than 700 dolphins between New York and Florida in 1987 and 88. In humans, a strain of the Morbilli virus causes measles, but experts say it doesn't spread between humans and dolphins. How do these maladies spread so quickly among dolphins? Experts say part of the problem is that dolphins are very social creatures. They're always swimming with each other, touching each other, breathing on each other. That's a way they say that they can transmit illness. They also feed on the same food at the same time, says Whitaker. At the aquarium, Whitaker and I do a quick exam on Bo, a young male. Go ahead and feel those, those uh, teeth there, Brian. Nice, nice, sharp teeth. We look under the tongue, make sure there's nothing. There. Some of the viruses actually cause lesions under the tongue. We check the stomach area, where the liver and other organs are. All right, now look at that. So we've got mucus and basically spit on the side. We take it to our laboratory, we do special stains, and we look at the cells, which tells us an awful lot about what's going on inside of her. That and a nice clear eye tell us Bo is healthy. As for those out in the open water who are infected. Can anything be done to, to end this or stem it at all? The reality is wild populations with an extensive uh, disease like this could be very, very difficult for us to really help them at all. Whitaker says that's because dolphins migrate so fast over such great distances that by the time experts figure out what's wrong, try to catch them en masse and treat them, the so-called unusual mortality event might be over. Still, experts are worried that this will spread further south very quickly because this is the time of year that Atlantic bottlenose dolphins are migrating south.